In this tutorial, we will show you how you can add or remove toggles and controls on the new control center and how you can resize and rearrange those toggles. iOS 18 brings a completely redesigned control center experience to the iPhone. The new control center offers more control in the form of toggles for many system settings. It also offers customization features that put users in full control over control center's appearance and function. In the new control center, you can not only add or remove different types of toggles and widgets, but you can also resize them, creating unique layouts that are personalized to your needs. This makes control center even more useful and fun to use. To customize control center on your iPhone running iOS 18 or later, access it by swiping down from the top right corner of the screen, and then long press on any empty space. This should enable control center's editing mode. Now you can easily tap on this minus button over a toggle or widget to remove it from the control center. You can also tap and hold on a toggle or widget and drag it to a new position or another page. Once you are satisfied with its new position, you can simply let go of your finger. Resizing widgets is also easy. Simply tap and hold on this tab and move outwards to increase a button size or move it inwards to make it smaller. Now to add a control to your control center, you have to tap on the add a control option from the bottom. This will bring the control screen which will give you access to a bunch of toggles and buttons that you can add to the control center. After finding the toggle that you want to add, simply tap on it. Doing so will add it to the control center. Now you can drag it to move it somewhere else or make it larger or smaller by moving this tab. Once you are done editing the control center, you can tap in any empty space to exit the editing mode. That's it. This is how you can customize the control center and add or remove controls to it. We also showed you how to resize or move control center toggles. If you found this tip helpful, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials.